Welcome to Neem Tools. In this video, we're going to be exploring how to use the Human Mode Bot, how to correctly set it up, and how to transfer Solana from your own funded wallet uh, to the Human Mode generated wallets. So the first thing we want to do first is go uh, into your wallet uh, section and generate wallets for Human Mode. Currently, Human Mode is only supported on PumpFun, but in the future, we'll be releasing it to Radium and Moonshot as well. So to generate your wallets, as you can see, I've already generated three wallets here. But to generate more wallets, all you have to do is uh, click Generate Wallets up here and uh, input your amount. Uh, click Pump Fund, select Human Mode and uh, Wallet Group 1, and then just press Save. So let's just generate 10 wallets here. Uh, I'm going to press Save. All right, you can see those wallets have been generated. Um, it's important uh, that you do not delete these wallets uh, if you have Solana in them. And you make sure to save that private key because if you delete your wallets, you're going to lose your Solana uh, in your wallets. So uh, to uh, distribute uh, uh, to these wallets, you want to go up uh, to the function right here, distribute Solana to wallets, click this, and then you want to input the amount you want to send to each individual wallet in the wallet group. So for example, I want to send 0 0.01 uh, Solana from my funder wallet into each of the generated wallets um, in the human mode section. Um, also make sure you select, um, uh, the human node bot here, uh, and then your, your tip, uh, and then just press distribute. You can see the funds have been successfully distributed. After distributing your funds to check, just go to your punk fund section here, go to human mode and uh, click the reload uh, button at the top. And you can see your funds uh, have been sent successfully to these wallets. Next thing you want to do is make sure your settings are uh, set up correctly. So just click the settings tab up there and here you'll see your human mode settings. At the top first, you'll see your minimum and maximum buy. So you know, how human mode works is it'll send multiple buys and then uh, the same or less than one of cells. Uh, this uh, mimics human, human activity um, and that way you're able to um, send uh, maybe let's say three buys, two cells, two buys, one cell. Um, uh, and then you can set that up in the settings here. So, uh, let's, uh, set our minimum and maximum buy to, um, 0 0.001 and 0 0.0015. You can set this, uh, range to whatever you would like, as long as you have that Solana valids in your generated wallet. Uh, next thing you want to do is set up your buy count. How many buys do you want before yourselves? So I'll be having three buys and then, um, two cells. Uh, so it'll be. One buy, two buy, three buy, and then two cells. One buy, two, two buy, three buy, and then two cells. And it'll repeat that pattern. If you want to change it, uh, you can stop the buy, uh, change that amount here, two to one, and then it'll do two buys and one cell. Or if you want to do four buys, you can do four buys, one cell. Four buys, three cells, whatever you would like to do. So let's just keep it to three buys and two cells. After that, you want to put up your minimum and maximum DOI. So this will be the delay uh, between what your transactions will decide. So for example, if you want um, each transaction uh, to go through every uh, every two to four seconds, you can change this delay here from uh, 2,000 to 4,000 milliseconds. Uh, every 1,000 millisecond is one second. So you can change that here. So we can change that to that. Uh, make sure to have your uh, uh, GDO uh, selected to your nearest location uh, to where uh, you're located. And then your VDIP tip should be uh, around this and all. You can always have it lower if you're not if the network is not busy. But um, if your transactions are not going through, just increase your VDIP tip. Um, and after everything here is set up, just press save uh, and your settings are saved. Now you're ready to run your human mode bot. Um, so you just want to press start. You'll see your uh, bot is running up here. And to confirm this, just head over to uh, the, the charts. You're supposed to be going in the bottom. And as you can see here, uh, the first buy has already come through, second buy, so let's just confirm this works, third buy, and then you should, uh, I see two cells, so one cell, two cell, and then you should see the buy coming again. One buy, two buy, three buy, one cell, two cell. As you can see, uh, there are different uh, uh, lengths of a variation in the timing of each transaction, and that's because of the delay we set in the settings. So if you want this to be uh, going quicker, you can change that delay to less milliseconds. If you want it to be slower, you can change that delay in the settings as well uh, to make it slower uh, by increasing the millisecond count. 
So after you're done running your uh, bot, um, just you can just go back here and press stop. You can then update your bounds. Um, and as you can see, uh, the, the only Salai that's been taken here is uh, deep to fees. Uh, the rest of it has been um, used in the spying amount right here. So to sell the Solana, um, in the next update, or maybe you're seeing this after that update has come out, there will be a sell button at the bottom here to sell all, which will sell all these wallets, um, and to return the Solana onto your wallet. But what you can do at this moment, if you're seeing this in a version 1.2.0, is just export these wallets. Uh, so we just go here, human mode, um, export wallets, uh, and just call it, let's call it human wallets. Press save, and those wallets have been saved. And then you want to go in your quick buys, and let's just delete these wallets we have here, group one. Um, after you've deleted these wallets, you can import those wallets. So let's go here, quick buys, and then select human wallets, and press open, and those wallets have been uh, uh, brought into your quick buy section. Now go to your quick buy section, uh, update the balance as you can see. And then just make sure your Jito is ARC and you can press sell all. And this will sell all the tokens um, that have been bought with the human mode that haven't been sold yet. Um, so let's just go here. You'll see those sales have all came through right here uh, from the sell all function. Um, this will be implemented into human mode in the next update. So version 1.2.1. Uh, but if you're seeing this beforehand, this is how you can sell those wallets. That's a general rundown on how to use the human mode bot. If you're done with your wallets, uh, then you can just go back to your wallet section. You can click uh, Refund Solana to Main Wallet, input your uh, wa uh, wallet here. Uh, make sure it's an FPL wallet, which supports Solana. Um, and then you can uh, just press like uh, Pump Fund, uh, Human Mode, Wallet Group 1, and just press Refund. You you don't need Geo on usually. And this will send all that Solana back to your uh, main wallet. So look, let me quickly grab an address, and I can show you how this works. Okay, I've now uh, brought my address in. Uh, just copy paste it into the box here. Uh, make sure your pound fund and uh, human mode is selected. Uh, wallet group one and just press refund. Our uh, refund successful. And now if you go back to your pound fund section and to human mode and uh, refresh, you'll see your balance has gone to zero. And if you now go to your wallet that you re refund it to, you, sh you should see that uh, balance appear there. Thanks for watching this quick rundown of human mode. Uh, and if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out on our Discord or in the comments in the YouTube video here, and we're, uh, we'll be more than happy to answer them.